Welcome, dear one. Today, we're going to talk about self-confidence. And I'm going to give you a tip. Because self-confidence is, in a lot of cases, developed by doing something new, by expanding your zone of confidence, by seeing that trying something that you've never done before will not kill you because our fear comes from our survival instinct. Our brain is trying to protect us and sometimes a little bit too much. So trying and doing new things and seeing that it goes okay, even if it didn't end up being the ultimate, ultimate result that you had in mind, it didn't kill you. You survived, you're still alive. You're still breathing, eating, doing stuff. So try to find things you've never done before and start small so you, it can build on each other. Start by doing new things that you've never done before alone. So you don't have anybody as a crutch because that thing, when you do it alone, you see that you have what it takes. Let me give you an example of stuff you can do alone. Go to the movies alone. Go to the uh, restaurant alone. And that will require you to change the story you have in your mind concerning that specific situation or action. Because in our society very often, going alone to a movie or a restaurant is perceived as somebody who's lonely, somebody who's, uh, you know, not happy, when in fact it can be quite the opposite. What if you decided today to become an adventurer? And it doesn't mean you're going to be Indiana Jones running in the desert or jumping and walking among snakes. No. You can just decide to go to the restaurant alone and enjoy a meal. When you come from inside with an attitude of pleasure, and if you're in the world of dating and you, you're looking for the love of your life and you're looking for somebody to love you, you might as well start developing a good relationship with yourself because why would someone want to be in a relationship with you if you can't even enjoy yourself? So become the inner adventurer, I would, call, I would call it. I think that's a term I'm going to use to call you from now on. Inner adventurers. I love that term. Become an inner adventurer and approach each little new thing that you're going to do with the eyes of a child with the expectation of fun and marvelous surprises coming your way. And when you go to places alone, you might start meeting people and enjoying the interaction with fellow human beings just because. So I hope it helps. And I would love if you could put down here your experiences and what you've discovered and what you've tried so that it can give to other people some ideas. Until I see you again, go and discover yourself. Mwah.